Hi, it's Remy and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you six tips on how to get started in taking amazing long exposure photography when you are on the seaside. So this will be six tips that will be really helpful to you in this situation. So let's not waste more time and let's get started. The first tip of this series is about clothing equipment. The first thing you want to get is rubber boots because they will help you to get your feet dry if you are on locations where the seawater is not that hot. And trust me, there are a lot of them around the world. <laughs> but on top of that, you also want to get like waterproof pants because this will really protect not only your legs, but it will also protect your, the splash from the water coming into the boots and trust me this will be a useful uh, tip because it happens so many times to me that water is coming a wave is crashing and the water just goes directly into the boots and trust me that's very uncomfortable especially if you're close to the water which is like rather cold so in any case just get something that gets you uh, like dry until the waist that's really important and trust me you will really enjoy it the second tip is also kind of clothing equipment is get some crampons so i am here now in northern norway so i obviously have crampons to be sure not to swift on the ice but also get some when you go on slippery stone i don't know if you can see here but the stone here is slippery and when i use my crampon it's really not moving at all and that's just amazing so it happens so many times to me to fall on, on stone so like to be like extra careful and uh, since i'm using this it's just like amazing like I, I feel much more confident i don't say it's perfect solution but that will really help you so try to have some and trust me you will use them for good reason the third tip is to shoot at sunrise and sunset time that sounds obvious but i just want to remind you that you should do it because at sunrise and sunset times all the stones will be enlightened with very beautiful colors and the seawater will also be beautiful so you will have like amazing combination of colors and shot shoot facing the sun that will really be amazing and you won't regret it at any point in time now you can also practice during the day that will be very helpful to get ready to shoot in the evening or in the morning so get ready to shoot at this time of the day the fourth tip is to get some ND filters some neutral density filters they will help you control your shutter speed because they will reduce the light that comes into your sensor so they will be extremely helpful because in case you have like not like now when <laughs> the sea is fairly flat but when you have like stronger waves you really want to get some motion into the water so you want to shoot at slower shutter speed and the ND filters will really help you in achieving this now fifth tips a very helpful one too shoot in burst mode the burst mode is when you shoot several shots like by just clicking on the on the bottom of your camera that would be extremely helpful because when you have wave crashings then you can just take the whole sequence of the wave crashing and you will be able to capture the perfect moment here so you will have at least one or two photographs that will be amazing probably the rest will be a bit tricky and not so good but also beware that doing this fills up SD cards very very quickly so either get large SD cards but also be careful in not shooting too early too late and just getting the perfect amount but this will come with practice and then also sort your pictures make sure that your pictures are that you just keep the right pictures because otherwise you will just accumulate loads of pictures that you will never use and that have no real interest so trust me this will help you in saving space in your hard drives and the final tip the sixth tip is 
to shoot at a speed of about half a second to one tenth of a second. By doing this, you will be able to capture some motion in the water and you will be able to create some dynamic in your photograph. And that will be exactly the thing that you want to do because like not on a day like this, <laughs> once again, where the sea is flat, but when you have like more movement, then you will be able to capture some the splash, the water like flowing along the stones and so on. And that would be like just amazing. That will create just wonderful uh, images. So you should really practice and shoot at the speed and use ND filters if you can't reach the speed. If it's too bright, then use ND filters. That would be very useful in this situation. All right, that's pretty much it with the six tips. I hope they were useful to you and I hope you will practice them and that you will go to shoot close to the sea. So because trust me, the feeling of capturing an amazing seaside and long exposure photograph is just wonderful. And people like to look at them, you like to look at them, so why not doing it and why not practicing it? And trust me, that doesn't come from one day to another. It's a lot of practice, but still you will get there at some point. So with that, I wish you good luck with your photography and see you in another video.